week, how I love you, California, how I've missed you. Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. It's Monterey Car Week 2018, potentially the best automotive week of the year. Today is my unofficial start of Car Week. It's the Quail Rally, a small gathering of eclectic cars that tours around the sort of Monterey area, getting everyone in the in the mood, hyped up for what is to come. We've got a Ford GT, a McLaren Senna, various roofs, uh, an Aston Martin Zagato I've never seen before in my life, my Turo rented 911 GTS, more to come on that soon, and a whole load of other cars like LFAs and GT3s, and I, I struggle to keep up with everything that keeps turning up. Today it's just going to kick off what I know is going to be one of the best weeks of the year. I think most of you will know that the Senna belongs to my good friend Phil and there will be plenty more to come on that car during car week. Today there are so many other insane cars here like this roof CTR3, is that a CTR3, the green one? I think so. The LFA, the 4GT, the GT3, that crazy Aston Vantage, there's another roof yellow bird. I mean there's just such insanity. I'm in the Ferrari, the DK engine in Ferrari. So much to take in. So yes, don't worry, lots more to come on the centre. It's not going to be the main focus, I don't think, of today's video. Anyway, everyone's sort of go, 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 excitedly, so I want to make sure I'm in the mix. I can stay close with everyone. Check this thing out, just hanging around the corner of the car park. An F12 TDF, which I don't know if you can notice, has blue, I, I thought it was blue, oh, it is blue carbon, it is blue carbon, I had to check myself there. And we've got a blue carbon engine bay as well. This thing is absolutely nuts, congratulations. Very cool indeed, wow. What a mental spec on a TDF. So check out this 812, which is also now turned up in our car park. Um, this is a completely bespoke, tailor-made 812. One of the first tailor-mades I think I've seen. Got all this sort of bespoke, matte, satin-style carbon fibre. This Italian flag that kind of runs all the way along the car and it kind of goes into a point down the front. Inside that continues, you've got an Italian flag on the steering wheel. The switch gear, I don't know if you can see that. Very cool to see, as I say, one of the first, I think, tailor-made 812s. And it is in relation to... These guys over here have this very tailor-made TDF, so same family. Um, so yeah, they're, they're doing well with the Ferrari game. Anyway, onwards with the Quail Rally. Laguna Seca, it's now, it's got a weird sponsor name now, I can't even remember what it's called, but we all know it as Laguna Seca. I had my first experience on track at Laguna Seca last year, I'm so happy to be back here now because to experience the corkscrew in a car, whether you're going 20 miles an hour or 120 miles an hour, which I think would be slightly ludicrous down the corkscrew, um, is just such an amazing feeling. Uh, so I'm excited to do that again with a whole different group of cars. I have ended up following and focusing on Phil Senna, even though I said that wouldn't be the focus of today's video. Um, so I'm determined after Laguna Zeca to hunt down the Ford GT, look at that roof CTR3. Um, what else has been catching my eye? The roof yellow bird. Um, obviously the Ferrari 500 TRC. So many things! But anyway, first off, let's enjoy being on track in the GTS. Here we go. So look at this. We've got a old Rolls Corniche there. That's pretty baller, isn't it? Especially going on track and that. Uh, we are following an old Porsche 356. I get a little bit lost with my really old Porsches. Uh, in front of that, we've got the Ferrari 500 TRC. Now that is cool to see anytime, but especially on track. Don't really know what the 
format is in terms of overtaking on these parade laps. It's single file, no one actually briefed us. So I wouldn't mind catching up with a few of the other cars. I can also see a BMW M5, the new M5 behind us. I didn't, not didn't notice that before. Uh, anyway, everyone's coming to a grinding halt, so not that exhilarating yet. talking I've managed to find the Senna and the Ford GT two insane track rivals these cars I mean different in price but fundamentally trying to do a very similar job both look quite wacky from the back as well <laughs> this is cool this is the moment slow-paced parade lap. That was pretty exciting actually. Uh, it's something about how eclectic the range of cars are today that just make it so cool. One minute you're looking in your mirror and I say you've got a Senna and a Ford GT coming up. By the way, which one would you pick? I think I'm coming around to the Senna a bit. A bit. I think I'd still go with the Ford GT. But then look, you've got a 550 Barquetta, we've got the brand new M5, uh, Acura, not Honda here in the US, Acura NSX, I've got a new Continental GT behind me. It just makes it all very exciting. Anyway, we are now leaving Laguna Seca. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Wavey, wavey. And I'm hoping that we're off to lunch because I've actually been awake since 3 a.m. this morning uh, and I'm starving hungry. All this excitement has got the old uh, hunger pains kicking in. But yeah, it, I just love California and I love Car Week. And this Porsche is fantastic. What a view! Ah! Local park, a park, national park? In America, they have so many of these sort of parks. And the reason we've come here is not for lunch, despite my hunger pains. It's because apparently we're going to be hiking up to this mega tree. So this is not the tree we've come to see. This is a tree or part of a tree that was 2,200 years old. Apparently, redwood trees do tend to live that long. 2,200 years old. This was older. Than, well, not older than Jesus, but the birth of Jesus. This tree was already standing. Sam, you're in there, man. I'm going, this I'm is diving in. This is what your viewers want. Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> We're three quite tall dudes. It's like things like clam attached. Whoa. Whoa! There's nothing up there. This is, this is crazy. It's remarkable. It's remarkable. The camera's picking up nothing, but <laughs> it, we're inside a tree. <laughs> Definitely so this was a hotel room, right? I wonder what that was. Cozy. Well, I'm not sure I've ever been inside a tree before. That was, that was strange, but <laughs> pretty epic. Um, so we are now moving out. Um, we're going to grab some quick lunch. I'm not sure I'll film that. And then we're going to head to Canapa, Can Canapa Motorsport. Um, now I've been wanting to go there for ages because they do this uh, BMW Pro Car sort of thing, which I've always wanted to see. Anyway, I'm hoping it's going to be there, but they usually have cool stuff. So yes, rolling on out for another convoy to Canada. And the sun's come out. It's always slightly weird weather in Monterey. You can't guarantee sun, but now it's baking hot. So uh, yes, onwards. <laughs> Check out this 512, the spec on it is crazy. Not only do we have a golden Ferrari badge there on the grill, we've got these kind of like chrome polished, highly polished wheels. We've also got this red interior. Check that out with the roll bar as well. I mean, it's wacky. I actually kind of like it though. I don't know why, but recently I've become obsessed with these old sort of rally 
liveries for Porsche 911s. I know obviously Magnus Walker is inspired by lots of these, but I think it'd be so cool to take, to take a modern 911 like my GTS that I'm in this week and do a sort of rally inspired livery. But also then check out the color on this Triumph. Absolutely nuts, it's sort of a purpley with the gold and oh, I mean that is crazy. So many cool and wacky cars down here at Canapa, all slightly sort of different and unique. They're not exactly your standard out of the box cars, 959 here, four litre, um, tons and tons of Porsches because they do specialise in them, but yeah, pretty cool to come and check this out. Check, check out this lot, God I'm jet lagged. <laughs> Here it is, the thing that I've been waiting to see for like two or three years now. This is the M1 Pro Car project down here at Canberra. Look at these wheels, these are nuts. The colour, the look, absolutely mega. The wing on it is freaking cool. I'm t well, I'm actually talking to the camera. But <laughs> yeah, you're going to run away now. But I just think this looks amazing. We've made our way to the back of Canberra. We've got this insane rack of road and race cars back here. RS200 down there, EB110 Bugatti just literally chilling, it looks like it's gathering dust, insane thing, roof yellow bird, I'll walk my way through at the front, there's even sillier stuff, 512, that's a original Porsche GT2, uh, so we've got a Dino body over there, original Cobra, um, another 959, so many 959s here, they are working on loads of 959 projects, it's kind of like their speciality. Um, look at this 911R in, uh, I guess, lava orange, but I'm assuming most of you don't care about that. You want to see this P1 GTR, which is in dark green with orange accents. I mean, look at the exhaust on this thing. This is beautiful, I'm sorry. Absolutely stunning. Well, people are starting to leave, and day one of the Quail Valley is officially, officially, officially over. So, if it's a good time for me to wrap up my first video from this year's Car Week, what I love is that this is just the start. As I've learned over the last few years, Car Week just ramps up and up and up. And if this is the start point, day one, God knows what we have in store ahead. Make sure to subscribe for those future videos. Give this one a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch up with you very, very soon. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not.